Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Yep. It is time for us to begin the final game of this trilogy journey. Trials, Trials and Tribulations. and Tribulations. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Trademark. Let's just go ahead and hit the fucking go button. Whoa. Turn about memories. Yo. Um, okay. Is this like fucking prequel stuff? I don't know. Let's find out what the fuck is going on Because she's alive here. right there. Apparently, yeah. And da -da 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 Phoenix looks adorable. Da -da 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 yeah, he's like, <laughs> hey, that's Mo. <laughs> I know. He's just looking weird. He's got like the, he's got the happy smile, but the sad eyebrows. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh. Okay. Anyways, uh, ha -da 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 -da. let's just go ahead and hit the play <laughs> button on this one. Christ, we haven't seen her in her clothes in a while. No. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, how to get into this mess? Oh God. Um. That's, I think, a dead person. Why? Why did I do that? <laughs> um. Uh. That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. <laughs> I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. Y you're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. What is going on? Stop it! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Don't talk about her like that! Did he just fucking knock him out or something? Phoenix, what'd you do? What is going on? It, it wasn't me! I, I, I d didn't... Uh... I didn't do it! Phoenix? What on earth is going on? I don't know. And what the fuck are you wearing, boy? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Five years earlier, Mia Fey second trial. I was gonna say he looks a yacht, a, a yacht younger, a lot a yacht, younger. A yacht longer. Yes, I'm already having. Oh boy. Friggin', what's it called? Verbal dyslexia. Apparently, so five years ago would have been when he was 18, right? Well, no, he's, he's 23. He's 25, I thought. I thought he was 23. Really? Yeah. He's a young boy. Oh. I mean, we'll find out when we find the age and stuff on all the profiles. Like, Anyways, yeah, let's get yeah, into yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Sorry, microphone and viewers. Jeez, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier on your throat. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Grossberg, good morning. Hurrah, Mia, please calm yourself out. <laughs> I'm going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know. So she was younger, too. And so she was like, what, Phoenix's age here or something? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, let's find out quick. Uh, profiles. Uh, over 61. Phoenix 21. Oh. Yeah, he was like 26 or something. Okay, yeah, I thought I told he was younger. You. No, there was a time skip. Doug Swallow. He's 22. Okay, I'm not going to read yeah. all that stuff yet. Okay. What so, are you talking about? I am relaxed, Mr. Grossberg. Look at me. I'm relaxed. Let go my nipples. You obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. She's just holding on to the, the things of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, er, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? <laughs> well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. But with your earnest request last night, let me handle this case, you suddenly said, and quite forcefully, too. I just found out yesterday about the case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I think. Oh, dear. She was just like Phoenix. Yeah. In any case, don't let your, your client see on your new vest. Fuck. <laughs> you see the poor young man in that pink sweat over there? That's our client. Oh my god. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> Good morning there, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Try to keep slime, Mia. <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to say, <laughs> I'll give it all I've got. It's so weird. Yep, it'll be fine. No problem. <laughs> Jesus, he's really sick. 
Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Rye? Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's right. Like like, a, like the Flying Brothers. People screw it up all the time. Like the Wright Brothers. And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. My deck says, uh, doc says this way. I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright. You have nothing to fear in court today. If you're truly innocent, I promise I will save you. <laughs> Please, let go of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's the one on trial, not you. He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. <laughs> my name is Mia Fay. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. It's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'm going to win. For my client, and for myself. Why that hoodie? I know. <laughs> Bro, I love Phoenix! <laughs> I, I love myself. <laughs> Maybe his, maybe his mom gave it to him. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. That's such a mom sweater. Oh, Mr. Grossberg. Wow. Uh, Court is now... I never thought I'd say this. Six years early, you still look old as fuck, dog. <laughs> How you doing? Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're just like, man, I'm not used to that. No. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. I've never said the defense is ready, Your Honor. Our defense today is... Miss, miss, me a fairy, was it? Yes, Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was put to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, Mr. Grossberg had a, a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing right there next to you? <laughs> I'm just like, you, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yes, well... You? You're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest look. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Your Honor. I think. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, man. Mm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, he, well. He had hair. <laughs> kind of. Oh, God. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend his time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Hmm. Don't worry, little girl. It'll all be over soon. What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with the summary of events on the day in question. This incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. Oh. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. So, college. It was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Mmm, sounds like it was a very bright young man. Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Ooh. He's been zip-zapped. Oh. I, I guess. That's what I'm taking from that. Because there the was a storm, and like, what if Phoenix was just standing there, and that fell on him, and it looks bad? Yeah. Students, uh, 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 students discovered the scene shortly after the, vic after the murder. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bludgeoned his gateway, bungled. <laughs> who bungled his getaway, they then called the police. Mmm, that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. Very well. The court accepts this photo and uh, uh, the record is evidence. Oh, Prime photo one added. By the way, you can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. <laughs> Your reputation for Saga City is well earned. Sagacity. Sagacity is well earned, Your Honor. Saga City, like Zombie Land Saga. The truth is that this victim died a rather unusual death. Fuck that bike, you little piece of shit out there <laughs> fucking up my audio. He died a rather unusual <laughs> death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Fane? <laughs> well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. Uh, um, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Nah, I'm perfectly absolutely. Well, what is it? The cars? Go on. Our roles have been switched. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. Oh, please say you know at least this much. I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Nah, my bad words are beginning to act up. <laughs> oh, now see here. 
<laughs> Did they tell us that the case of final under the court record? But you knew that already, didn't you? Ah, oh, the court record! I think I can see that by pressing tab. Of all the weapons we, we, we need can be found in the court record. Take a good look. A good hard, hard take look. Take a good hard look at the data here and think carefully before you answer, Medea. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the better of me. Court record. Okay, let's take a look. Just press that. <laughs> now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Electrocution. Well, let's find out. I mean, I, 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 we, yeah, we, we have, have to, to look, look at now. it. Cause of death was a fatal electric shock. Okay, so yeah, electrocution. Or hypothermia, as it is now known in Canada and other parts of the world for some reason. What? Really? I, no, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just making a joke. I don't, <laughs> did you? I was just making random shit of like, oh, that's what they call it now. It's like, no, electrocution. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Ele electrocution? <laughs> mm, but how would such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new super powerful stun gun, perhaps? <laughs> the answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there is one more vital issue. W what's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? W what do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like this smug guy's attitude. Or this guy's smug attitude. It works both ways. Yeah. That worse than pain for you is one smooth operator if it catch my drift. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Oh, he didn't kill Phoenix, though. Nope. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. Uh, evidence? Nah, no need to get all worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need, and then shove it into old Greybeard's face. G y yes sir, into old Greybeard's face. <laughs> uh, Mr. Grossberg, <laughs> try to set a better example for the young lady. <laughs> yeah, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. Could've used that last fucking game. Right. <laughs> and toggle between the evidence and profiles with tabs so be sure to go over it all. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? Well then. I guess it's the girl. I'll assume. Phoenix Wright's girlfriend! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dated the victim Doug Swallow up until eight months ago. Oh. oh! He's like, yo, fuck you, dog. Oh, wow, she sounds so young. <laughs> Take that! Take that! The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. <laughs> Only a Hawthorne, what is it? Very good, Miss Fay. You seem to have picked up on the least bit much, at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. She's so pretty. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she had some part to play in this story. Hmm. Hmm! Ah, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Oh. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecutor like to call Mr. Phoenix oh, well. Wright. <laughs> it's gonna what? be weird. The defendant himself? Well, well, Miss Fay? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. Um... Hey everybody! Uh, How you doing? <laughs> My mom says hi. What miss? <laughs> Please shut up and state your name and occupation. Uh, oh, uh, yes. My name is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> My job is um. Well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. <laughs> no, no. He means what did you do before you were arrested? Oh. <laughs> I I was a university student. Mr. Wright. <laughs> You understand that you are suspected in the death of your fellow student, Doug Spot, but, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you I was... <laughs> it's a oh, Jesus. <laughs> Will the <laughs> defendant flee and refrain from batting on his cold to the rest of us? It seems the witness is something he wants to say. Mm, well then, Mr. Wright, 
Can you tell us about your relation to the victim? Right away, Your Honor. <laughs> oh boy, I'm I, I'm gonna be cross-examined. Oh God! You this have is, to study this me. This is weird. You have to study me all out, baby girl. Have you been watching a long time? <laughs> <laughs> um, I I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British woman. Oh, he was British. <laughs> Mmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right. Like I said, I'm not a killer. <sighs> it looks like the judge understands. Um, not being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? <laughs> it seems you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right. I said the defense is doing to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if a witness testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, that statement will conflict with the court record. But Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying the testimony just now? That there was a lie? A contradiction? Now then, your court's examination, if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. No. Look at him. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? No. No. <laughs> oh, help me. <laughs> Don't make him sound like an elementary school kid. All right, you're the lawyer here. What are we doing? Uh, wow. You're the lawyer. I'm the fucking victim here. Or the, I'm, uh, I'm the suspect. Press it. All you right, I admit it. I was there. When you say there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered? Y y yeah, it's sort of. The place where something happened anyway. Oh, God. Something! You can't hide what happened. We have photographic evidence. It's a bad uh, uh, Anyway, Mr. Wright, what were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? <laughs> All uh, right. yeah, press it. Okay. You say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Um, it's <laughs> This poor kid. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was some other students that notified the police. Other students? That's correct. They were witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. What? what? Is this true, Mr. Wright? It's a cop. It's a cop. <laughs> Could you stop sneezing every time you're in a bind? Well, well it, it's true that I was pretty shocked when I found the body. But, but I... I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Press it. Pressing it. So, you didn't know his face, or even his name, right? Right. Um, well, no. That is, I mean... So, which is it? Did you know him or not? It's... It's... Now, see here, you can't avoid answering the question by sneezing all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, I guess I did know his name. The news to me? Why didn't he tell me that before? Um, I heard he used to date Dolly. Who is this Dolly person? Ah, yes, that would be a defendant's lover, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh. oh, I see. Ah, young love, so precious sweet. <laughs> but, but that's all I knew about him. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Okay, British wannabe, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. That that's right. I mean, why would I even... But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Oh... Uh... Phoenix. Um... Uh... uh <laughs> well, Mr. Wright! Uh, no, it wasn't me. I'm not the killer, I swear! That's not what I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, you fucking... Uh... Oh. Mr. Is, Wright, I'll give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. This is when his freaking 20 <laughs> IQ points come into play. Yeah. 
How was it that you were the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Even though he's in y college. Yes, well... <laughs> uh, he was always walking around with a huge Union jacket on the back of his shirt. Or Union Jack on uh, the back of his shirt. Okay. Are we gonna yeah, press, press that? Yeah, press that. In? Okay. Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean. It, yeah, that's right. I saw it at the crime scene. That's why... That's why I figured he must love British stuff, see? Phoenix, you're lying. It's true. Cross my heart. Phoenix. I swear I didn't do it. You're being sketchy. Yeah, he's acting fishier than the salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Fay? Yes, Your Honor? What is it now? Who is the person anyway? This Union Jack fellow. Uh. The Union Jack is the name of the United Kingdom's flag. Oh, I see. So you mean like the stars and stripes, right? Sure, good enough. As usual, Your Honor. Your insight astounds me. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. <laughs> hey, something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bitch just now? Mia, there's a contradiction here. M Mr. Grossberg! Quickly now, show that boy you mean business. With evidence, I mean. <laughs> okay, Mia, check the court record carefully. Well, my dear. Do you think you can manage to on your own from this point? Uh, so let's take a look at the court record. Yeah. So we have the badge. I got to support the PM because of the fair stock. Hmm. But I don't see it on his back. It's because he's wearing a jacket. But like he said it was on his jacket. He though. said it was on his shirt. Oh. Uh, so, do you want to say we can handle this ourselves for now? Yes. All right. One year ago, I was in a courtroom just like this. I can do it. I can handle this myself. Um, you mustn't try to bite off for one, more, more than you can shoot, Mia. It's fine. I've had plenty of experience with other games in another life. <laughs> I'll be fine. I know what I have to do. Remember, you can always press him to get more information. Oh, and one more thing. When you're going to state a contradiction, make sure you present some definitive proof. Okay, Mia. One more time from the very beginning of his testimony. All right. So, we're going to go to the final one, I yeah. assume. I'm going to try and have you lead this up. Okay, that. Yep. Do I want to go and save quick? Yeah. All right. Just in case we manage to fuck this up because we're getting ahead of ourselves. But This is crazy. So, I'm pretty much the one playing. <laughs> yep. Nothing else is really here that would say anything. So, oh. uh, I think my girlfriend. Currently has a yeah, cold. the back of his shirt, but he was wearing a... He was wearing a jacket, so... Present the picture. Yep. And be like, hey. Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? It, yeah, I'm sure. It was uh, right there on his back. Phoenix. Miss Faye, is there something important to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute. He's wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> the Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd have no idea that he was wearing jacket on he was what he was wearing underneath that jacket. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Phoenix! Mr. Wright! You've been lying to me! Um Aww. please forgive me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Mia, you've made our client cry! Let him! That pee on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways. <gasps> oh. Did she just go where I think she went with that? Oh my god! Did... Okay. Now I know where I'm, Phoenix got I'm, his shade from. I'm, I'm gonna go heavy. Did she just call me a pussy? What? <laughs> oh, fuck. Now oh we know where Phoenix god. got his shade from. Damn. He got his Good shade one. from Mia. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I trusted him. Mr. Wright was all wrong. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross-examination. <sighs> Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh... Uh-oh. Did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright. You seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, uh... Um, yeah, I took some, but... Was that medicine you took in over the counter brand called Cold Killer X? Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. 
Hey, hey, wait a second. How'd you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? Uh. <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. Like, at a crime scene. Oh, no. He lost it? Does this even have anything to do with the case? Mr. Wright, should I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? <laughs> your Honor, I think you take a look at another photo from the crime scene. Uh, what's this? In the victim's hand, it's... It's Cold Killer X! <laughs> yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. I am sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this buzz of Cold Killer X belongs to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints are all over it. <gasps> but what? I have her voice a little higher to match her actual voice, because this yeah. is like five years before she's like, later. <laughs> yeah, later. <laughs> Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine, dropped by Mr. Wright and hidden in his hand. Uh, his purpose of doing so can only be to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. Oh, shit. <laughs> or he just really wanted his cold medicine. Order! Yeah. Order in the court! Your Honor, I can present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into this record. All right, the crime photo too. Oh God. And the cold killer act. Phoenix, this is not looking good for you. Why are you lying, Phoenix dog? Also, mm, oh my the God. The wrist watch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? Uh, well, let's see something here if this is actually correct because I have an idea. Yeah. Let me go ahead and check. Hang on. I'm trying to get my bearings all of a sudden. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh my God. That's eight. So, well, right? no. no. The watch is that's, upside down. That's, it's set that's 12. Four. That's 12. So it's, so going it's one, like. Two, it's at, it's at like three, 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 five, three, 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 five. What? That's what that watch is set for. Because the small hand is pointed to the left from the no, 12, which is 3. It's, that's the bottom number is 12. Or, oh, yeah. So okay, it's 305. so it's 305. Yeah. Okay. I had to, like, break and my that, neck looking that, at that. That does match because the, the time of death was at 3. Yeah. So it's pretty close. Yeah. So, uh... This is really bad. Oh, my buttocks. My <laughs> pawpaw paw hemorrhoids. Oh, my God. <laughs> gross Berg, you need to calm down with the gross part of your Bergness, dude. God damn. I can't believe she still put a oh, on his man. shirt doesn't stand for Phoenix. God damn. That's where he got his shade, is from yeah. Mia. The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so he agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then around 3 p.m. we split up. Then mm. later when I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking Cold Kill X for the past two or three days, but I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Wright, that's completely different from the testimony you gave previously. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony more credible. Hmm, Miss Faye, please begin our cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. We can't afford to call you out on lies because that just yeah. hurts our case. All right, what really happened? Here this one because he called me. Okay. How? Why? Why? Had you ever met the victim before then? No, never. But that day, he called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly person is... He forgot already. My, um... It's kind of embarrassing. She's my, um, sweetheart. Aww. <laughs> what, what, what was that for, Mia? Oh, um, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. Oh, I, <laughs> she slapped. <laughs> okay. Why? Oh, because she said... <laughs> Dolly Hawthorne was also the love of a murder victim, Doug Swallow. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. Mmm. So it was one of those nasty love triangles, I see. He's in the pharmacology department, so you agreed to meet up at 245 behind the building. Press it. Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated that you should meet at 245? Yeah, we were both there right on time. Mmm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Mm. Everyone called him the 
alchemist of IVU. Well, an alchemist? Oh, like Edward Elric, I see. <laughs> I, I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I knew. Yeah. I gotta admit, he, he was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, how fascinating. You sound like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for some more details? Oh. Uh, forget about it. Forget about it. Um. He's probably. I mean, we don't us, really so. need to know much about the pharmacology department because the timing of meeting is more relevant to the case. For now, yeah. Should we save? Oh, uh, we can go and yeah. save. There yeah. we go. In go for fact, the go for the uh, the the the, the timing. All right, and yeah. I'll touch that next time. Oh, I'm really loving this. Good, good. 